Hey guys, this is an update for my Fiddle Leaf Fig 1, the Ficus Lorata 1. Um, the reason I'm doing this right now um, is because I switched the concentration on the on the um, fertilizer and I wanted to show you guys what happened to that. So this right here dried up. So so what I'm planning to do is actually take it off, but um, it feels kind of hard right now. I'm just a little concerned if I would do that. The reason um, I know it dried up is because this one over here, this was this is a leaf already. So this one I'm actually gonna take off right now, and that's okay. And there's the sap right there. Now the sap, when you see the sap and you do this, it usually it means that you did something right and this should grow more leaves after that so that's just what I'm gonna to try to do is just pinch all of them off because um, that was my mistake so what I did was I had the fertilizer at a higher concentration um, I think three waterings ago and then um, the last two waterings I lowered it thinking that I didn't need it that high and I guess um, that high of fertilizer concentration was encouraging all the new baby leaves so I don't want anybody else to do the same and that's why I'm doing this vlog um, right now so as I discovered um, I just you know I did that however I tried to pinch this one right here and it didn't really dry up and wilt so I tried to check everything else it's still really covered um, this was the only one that you could see the baby leaf already so what I'm gonna do is just kind of leave it alone and see what happens um, maybe I don't know cuz this was watered a few days ago so it's not even close to being watered again and um this is how i usually test it like this this is like their root, root ball so this is usually uncovered so i would just test it this feels very very moist so i'm not even and it's sticking to my finger so i'm not even going to try to water this for not today not tomorrow obviously but i will be um checking on it um probably every day because sometimes with this plant it is moist right now and then the next day it's dry so I do check this um, you know minimum every other day um, I think every three days is a little too long sometimes but the room this plant is in is on the drier side before but now I added a different plant that actually gives it more humidity so it could be why it's not very dry right now because usually um, I don't really remember how many days it's been since I watered it but usually around this time that had this should have been drier by now but like I said I added a specific plant and planter with it that does add humidity to the room as well as the plants obviously so it might be a while before I will have to water this plant um, I am just like to add it out there that everybody's environment is different and um, a lot of people in the, especially in the fiddle fig leaf tree community, they always have problems and they do certain things that are conflicting to a lot of other people. Um, I did do my own research and I tried to do what other people were doing. And it wasn't working for me and I figured out a way for my end to work make it work and it does do that um, it was one of the youtubers that did it she was the one that said you know there are three ways that you could water the plant weekly bi-weekly as well as touching the root ball if it's dry or not and then you water it and I'm doing that method it's just I only water it when the root ball is really dry um, depending on the depending on the dryness or humidity of the room that can vary I have watered this plant sometimes every five days 
when it was in the drier side and there was no other extra plant to assist it with the humidity or any yeah or anything else that would do that um this uh, is also right next to a cathedral ceiling window uh so you know a lot of light they also get to digest a lot more moisture water so i there were times that yeah i did i did water it every five days and the more plants i do have around it the the more the longer it doesn't stay dry as quick if that makes any sense i don't know if i said it right um so just do really pay attention to this particular plant and whatever really fits best with your lifestyle and the plant's lifestyle. You have to let this plant acclimate as well. I haven't moved this plant since I made a decision in where to put it in my home. And she has thrived significantly. What I have noticed though, if I let her dry too long, she drops leaves. If, um, like, I've, I've been trying to experiment with the fertilizer itself. And if she doesn't get the same amount of fertilizer from the previous watering, a leaf drops. Um, I, f I almost forgot to mention that. So, when I switched my concentration from two tablespoons to four teaspoons of the fertilizer that I'm using, um, one leaf actually fell and it was like a baby leaf. So what I'm planning to do, because um, it's already like two things that have changed it now. It dropped a leaf and um, it stunted the growth of, uh, it actually dried up a leaf that was about to open. So I'm just going to go back to two tablespoons of the concentration of the fertilizer. And I think it should be okay like that. Because when I, when I raised it that high to experiment only, it was doing really well, but before that, the concentration was one tablespoon and one half teaspoon. So I thought maybe I could just do four teaspoons, you know, maybe, because I was also a little worried that maybe it's a little too much, um, because there is edema, but there was always edema since the one tablespoon and one half teaspoon. So I just wanted to experiment and um, this is my tip. If you want to experiment and you believe that a certain concentration of the fertilizer you're using for this plant is working well, don't try to go back lower it because you're going to lose leaves, you're going to stunt its growth, you're going to stunt certain leaf growth, um, especially from my personal experience. So what I do is I always try to share it with you guys, even though, you know, people criticize me and uh, tell me I'm giving wrong information. It's not really wrong information if I'm actually experiencing it. Um, I'm not basing this off Google or a search engine or some blog that someone else experienced. This is my personal experience. So everybody is different and it's always the same with plants, really. There's uh, always going to be like a certain similarity and then... You make it your own, and that's what I do with all of my plants. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching my update on this. I actually just woke up, and I just wanted to check my plant. Shocker. And um, I hope you like my video, that you're going to hit the like button, the subscribe button if you haven't yet, and of course the bell, so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. Thanks, guys, and as usual, everything that I'm using for this particular plant will be down below. Thank you, guys.